my name is Jamie Brogan and I work on the harm reduction team here at Caracol. I'm here today to speak to you about Narcan, also known as naloxone. First, let's talk about some signs of an overdose. If a person is unresponsive or breathing irregularly, they may be overdosing. Check for a change in skin tone. For darker, darker complected people, their skin may be a grayish tone, and for lighter complected people, it may be a bluish purplish tone. Also, if you hear some weird gurgling noises, sometimes referred to as a death rattle, that person may be overdosing. It's important to note that even if a person is not overdosing, administering Narcan will not harm that individual. There are two different kinds of Narcan. One is a nasal that gets uh, absorbed through the sinus passageways. The other is an intramuscular, which gets injected into the large muscle. First, let's talk about the nasal. Inside the box, there are two doses that look like this. You will simply insert into one nostril and push the plunger. There will be no noise emitted, but you can assure that if you've pushed the plunger that the dose has been administered. If you're using the intramuscular naloxone, you will remove the syringe from its packaging and insert it to the top of the vial. You will draw up all of the liquid in the vial and you will inject it into the large muscle, which would be the upper outer thigh. It is re recommended that you call 911 and that a person seeks medical attention when they have overdosed. This is because the half-life of Narcan is shorter than the half-life of fentanyl, so a person can re-overdose on the same fentanyl that they used, even if they've received Narcan. If you administer a dose, wait two minutes. If a person is still unresponsive, administer another dose and do that until help arrives.